Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another episode of Love Sick. The annual Polar Plunge has finally arrived. I know some of you are probably anticipating it because you know that Alden Proctor attends this every year. And now that his daughter, Abigail Proctor, is also on the swim team, captain at that, for the Sequoia Swimmers for her high school, you know that she's going to attend this. So we're going to take the Sequoia Swimmers and her pops down to do the annual Polar Plunge at her school. I totally forgot that Abigail and Madison have school today, so I'm just going to make it a day off work school normally i don't do this but let's just make sure that everyone's free today but abigail is going to make herself a very light breakfast she's making a peach protein shake madison's got her into this now and i mean it's healthy so that's a good thing and she definitely wants to eat something light before she goes but i do want to let you all know that today's a special episode you know why because we are a couple days away from love six anniversary i had no idea that i actually released the first episode of lovesick on february 14th the day after valentine's day isn't that so romantic and just so on brand for lovesick so by the time you watch this obviously it still will not be the 15th i just want to say thank you again for keeping this series alive for me because i cannot believe we've been running it this long we're on season three and and might i say we might have to have a season four i don't know let's shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> be quiet but as you can see our dear Lizbeth is feeling quite sad but one thing I want to note is the fact that she loves the annual polar plunge now that she's an active sim she actually has a heart under this tradition Lizbeth has been more into fitness than she's ever been in her whole entire life which is kind of amazing because now she can appreciate this holiday I kind of feel like this reminds her of the past a little bit and she's already feeling kind of sad so she has a sweet spot for this and she can't wait to go and support her daughter all alone any sim can get lonely but Lizbeth is a sim who loves to be surrounded with as many friends as possible this has to be extra tough for her and yes it is it really is and this is because she has a people person lifestyle she has been self-isolating i mean it's only been probably what like a day or so since she found out that really weird news that abigail told her everything is kind of moving too fast i believe that was like sunday and monday when that went down and so everything is still new she still has not confronted gage about it but she's really just been keeping to herself about it her social is low and she really just needs to get out there and she also has survived from food poisoning i forgot she ate out the other day with uh her sister they went to a restaurant she got food poisoning so that kind of uh, that was kind of rough let's go ahead and put the wine bottle away uh liz hasn't been you know drinking all night or anything like that but she did have a glass of wine that first night honey she was very very uh yeah she wasn't too thrilled about that. Lizbeth feels a little overdressed. She's going to head back in her closet and kind of chill down a little bit. I mean, she is just going to a pool <laughs> event. Abigail is going to abruptly wake up Madison. Like, listen, if you want to go and see your boo swim, then you need to wake up now because we're leaving like right now. And of course, Madison is going to freak out like, no, I don't have time to do anything. I don't have time to do my makeup and everything. No, Madison, just go. So she's going to just hurry up, throw on the quickest thing that she has. Has. and I think that's probably going to be like a jacket and some Uggs and then she's just going to freshen herself up check herself out you know just make sure she looks cute I love it really really Madison I just have to make sure I'm looking good for myself <laughs> you don't think I'm just doing all this for Philip, do you and it's true she's not lying like she does actually like to look good for herself but she does want to be cute for her boo too so let's just focus on Madison's side of the room really quick I really love these photos that I put up it's just her life right it's her life I do have to add a picture of her and Lizbeth up here I totally forgot y'all I'm so sorry we do have her dad uh here which she looks just like her father and I love that so much they've actually been talking here and there mind you this is behind the scenes stuff obviously her and her sister our you know slight little uh romance here i guess our summer romance and then we also have this cute little photo with philip which i think is so adorable i did the same thing in abigail's room as well just right here on the side where her computer is and their photos just oh, i love it so much so here is a photo of them as children and then we have what is his name again erwin i'm gonna go check but it's a, such a goofy photo i love it and then obviously her and cyrus someone was trying to pitch <laughs> her and cyrus together it's a little awkward to do that because her you know their their parents are dating so they truly see each other as friends lizbeth is like hurry up girls i'm headed out to the car <laughs> and of course it would be raining attractiveness mirror mirror on the wall who's the prettiest of them all <laughs> madison knows that she's very beautiful and i love that confidence baby confidence but we gotta go ahead and hit the road lizbeth thinks about text engage but she's just feeling a little 
a little, you know, like maybe I should just wait for you to text me because she can't even think of what to say. However, I am going to have her text her best friend. You know, she's feeling a little lonely. So she's like, hey, if you can make it to Abigail's thing, like definitely do so. Bring Chester, all that great stuff. We just don't know what to say with Gage yet. And we didn't even wake up with a good morning text. And the situation probably wouldn't even be as bad if we kind of knew what was going on. I had a little mishap because I started a gathering at another location. So bear with me, you all. But we are here. What? We're supposed to be able to swim. Um, I don't see dad here yet. We can't swim. It's too cold. Someone told me that if I put a thermometer here that I would be able to swim, but I guess we can't. Hmm. That is so strange. All right. Well, I won't sweat it. Um, I'm just going to have his mom really in her bathing suit. Madison being Madison is obviously going to want to take a little selfie with her mom. So she's going to take a picture with Lizbeth, which she needed to do anyway. I need a picture with them. And I really wish we could all swim together here. I'm so mad. Abigail's the only one swimming and I have to find Alden so he can kind of like show off. Oh, here he goes. He's walking through the door. So here, let's take a picture. Like, yes, Abigail's swim me. I love this. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is so sweet. <laughs> I'm so happy. Alden is here and it looks like he's ready. And look at the way that he's just looking at Lizbeth. Lizbeth is like, oh, hi. You know, it's just great to see him because he does look like he's doing better. So, and you know what? I think I'm just going to actually greet him with a hug. There's no hard feelings here. There's no awkwardness too bad. It's more like, hey, um, where's everyone? Your mom? Um, where's Marie? And he's like, oh, uh, she couldn't make it. My mom is going to be on her way, though. So Elizabeth's like, oh, OK, which is strange because Marie actually does attend all family events and everything. I mean, that is his wife. And we don't see baby Anthony here either. So that's a little weird. Um, Madison doesn't care. She's staying out of it. She's minding her business all year. She really could care less. I mean, truthfully, school is actually in session right now. And I have them skipping school just so that I can get the polar plunge stuff out the way right now. <laughs> but it looks like we're having a good conversation with Alden. And she's like, well, I guess you better go ahead and get swimming and she's gonna show off muscles like yeah you know i probably could jump in there now you know i've been working out and stuff <laughs> he's like wow nice <laughs> she's like yeah well i'm gonna go sit over here and watch you know oh <laughs> what the heck was that Excuse me? Why is my game trying me right now? Perceived as extremely... Uh, Lisbeth Savalani thinks Alden is extremely... <laughs> extremely... Not just attractive. That's the first time I've seen this. He is extremely attractive. Baby, join the club because we all can acknowledge that Alden is very attractive. It's just that his personality is a little bit like, you know, paint drying on a wall sometimes. But, but... um. Obviously, that would not happen. So, like, can we just get that out of our mind? Because now, where is Philip at? Focus the camera. Philip, where, Philip, honey, are you okay? You're standing outside. You're not swimming. Um, what's wrong? And we can't call him over. Let's just go give him a hug or, or something more. I love you. No, babe. <laughs> Let's go to Philip and give him a hug. And it's not going to be a romantic one. It's just going to be a regular one. No one, you know, it's still fresh. It's still fresh, you know. Elizabeth is watching and she's just watching as, you know, her daughter is talking to Daniela. Should we go? Oh, how sweet. Abigail really appreciated receiving such kind attention from Daniela. Oh, of course she likes affection. I love that about Abigail. Oh my gosh, my sweetie. Elizabeth is like, do I say something to her? Like, do I... You know, what do I do? She doesn't know yet. She really doesn't know. The best thing to do when you're in an awkward situation is go on your phone and yeah, just look like someone's texting you or calling you. Perfect. <laughs> so no one can talk to you. So right now, Daniela is looking so happy. She's like, I am so proud of you. You are just like your grandpa, your papa, and your father. Abigail looks a little bit concerned. Like she's asking where Marie and baby Anthony is. She didn't get a chance to ask her dad yet, but you know, she just kind of assumed that they were gonna be riding with Daniela and they're not here, which is very strange. Um, you know, granted, Marie doesn't have to come to everything, but it is weird that Marie isn't here because she would attend normally. And I think we're just going to 
send a text, you know, even though it's a little bit awkward, she's just going to say, oh, okay, well, I'll just send her a picture, you know, or something. She's like, yeah, yeah, you do that. Um, but I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Your dad is here, so everything is fine. But, you know, of course she'd want to see her little brother here and everything too, you know, it's it's a family thing. What is Madison doing? Oh, Madison and Philip are out here hugging. And it's only Madison and Philip out here. So she can actually, you know, blow him a little kiss, like... I missed you. Like, sorry, I couldn't talk late last night. I was really tired. He's like, okay. They're the type, I think, to take things slow, potentially fall asleep, you know, on FaceTime together. They will kind of just cuddle and do all of that. No one can see them right here in the corner of the school. <laughs> They're away from everyone. Are you going to be late for swimming? No, it's okay. You know, it's your sister. She should understand, right? You can talk her out of fussing me out of next, next week's practice. And she's like, yeah, sure, maybe. <laughs> but I love this. You know, I really wanted Alden to, oh, look at everyone. Wow, Daniela's even saying hi to Eliana, which is Elizabeth's sister. And I kind of just love this scene. So I'm gonna take a picture. I just really love Daniela's energy here. She's like, hi, hi, yeah, it's, it's nice to be here. And so I think seeing that our sister is talking to, to Daniela, even though she hates us, we do need to, we need to say something. So we're just gonna obviously go to the small talk section and definitely, can we just ask about day, something really light? I think Eliana is gonna be like, I know this is gonna be awkward. What? Girl, no. She is trying to get in the pool. Elizabeth keeps trying to swim and honestly i think that's hilarious you know what i'm just gonna roll with it maybe she's like hey let me let me dip in here too who is this the custodian oh that is so adorable yeah i feel like abigail would be that person that'd be cool with her like school custodian so i just want to make sure i know this guy he might make a difference in our life somehow some way right so i'm gonna have her introduce herself to him lizbeth is like well if your dad's gonna lollygag around then maybe i'll just swim with you instead you know but let me find alden really quick i think what i'm gonna do is just temporarily add him to the family it looks like he's like looking around the high school he's very interested in the high school right now so i need him to come over here and swim laps he needs to complete this holiday even though i'm so sad because there's a glitch right now where not all of sims not all of the sims are showing the holiday in the left corner which i saw they're supposed to fix that and they need to because honey if anyone wants to celebrate annual polar plunge it's definitely going to be out and so get it together sims get it together our swim team is supposed to be here i'm not going to sweat it I'm, i should end the gathering with them Darling was the only one that swam with us. But I feel like Lizbeth is going to hop in the pool and complete this tradition with her. And it's kind of funny because I feel like Alden might say, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Hi, how you doing, sir? What's going on here? Well, you were taking so long. You swimming on annual polar plunge? I told you, I've been working out. This is nothing for me. No, literally, she's like <laughs> beast mode. She's beast mode right now. OP, overpowered. My son actually told me what that meant the other day. He was like, yeah, this is OP. I'm like, what's what's OP? <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? Um, we know grades are down. I can cheat it up. She's... We can, we can fix that. She was an A student. Don't do that to me, Sims. I just need a day. Um, who's calling? Oh, my God. Okay, principal. The principal's calling. The principal is right here playing basketball. The principal doesn't even care about me. I hate that, like, they're doing this. The principal called to say that my school performance is shaky. It's okay. Let's ignore it. Our storytelling is more important. Alden has now taken the lead, and he's like, I told you. <laughs> So you, Liz, you can't beat the top dog at this. And she she's like, you know, all right, all right, I see you. And she's just going to go ahead and jump for the group. I think she's going to do a swan dive. When her and Alden were together, she was never into fitness. <laughs> she was into all the other things that she was into. So I think a slight part of him might even be quite impressed, right? Like, wouldn't you be a little impressed if you know, your your ex is kind of showing out and she actually could keep up. Mom, do it. She's like, mom, go do it. Go, Liz. You're scaring me. It makes me feel like you can't do it. Let's see. <laughs> she fought like that. Are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm okay. Um, and I wish that he could like splash her or something. Can he do that? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to say, you okay? Yeah, that kind of hurt like just a little bit when I was coming down. Ow! Alden, why did you do that? <laughs> He's like, sorry, I just had to. Don't do that again, okay? 
<laughs> and she's like, I'm sorry about that mess. That was totally him. He's like, no, you're all right. Y'all are all right. Have, go have fun. So thanks to Wonderful Whims, Alden in this moment looks at this woman and all of a sudden the light bulb goes off. He realizes that Lizbeth has the lover personality archetype. Lover Sims crave intimacy, live to experience pleasure, and are very passionate. Nonetheless, with their desire to evoke love in others, they risk losing their own identity and appear shallow. They both kind of have a, uh, whew, let's shake that off kind of moment. Abigail is looking over here and she's like, what is this okay so she's going to switch topics and she's going to say hey let's all do backflips in the pool be flirted with alden keeps flirting with her and i i hate i what <laughs> keep stuttering i wish he would not do that like please can you can you not but it's very concerning how he keeps flirting with me so i'm not taking it 100 percent seriously or rolling with that um if anything she's like geez wait for me you guys are starting already i wanted them all to do it <laughs> Now she's going to go ahead and go. Awesome. All right. So now that we've done this, Alden suggests that everyone kind of gets something to eat. And she's just like, uh, I, I guess. I mean, I'm not really doing too much right now. Um, he's like, yeah, you know, my mom is getting a little hungry out there. Madison's like, I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, we can definitely get something to eat. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. So we are in Copperdale. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe we could eat at the Sweet and Spicy. I mean, that does kind of sound kind of good. It's right up the street. You know, maybe they're all walking out and they're like, hey, let's go try out this new place down the street. It feels great to be in Copperdale. Not gonna lie, Alden loves it here. So he's so excited to try out this place. And so he's like, yeah, table for, what is it, five? <laughs> so he's super excited. Lizbeth actually has to pull back as everyone's walking in the building because she realizes that she has a couple of missed calls from Gage. So while she was actually forgetting about everything for once, because she truly did, she forgot to check her phone. Oh my goodness. So she is going to probably call him. Um, he texted her and he called her. And so what she'll do is just call him right now. I would rather her call him out side not right here so we're all sitting um she definitely probably wouldn't call him right here so i kind of hate that she's right here doing this let's just have her text i know she called him but i'm just gonna have her say like hey i'll call you back when i get home and she's like hey sorry i'm out to dinner with you know she's telling him everything you know alden the girls and his mom so i just can't really chat right now but how's your day going so far you know it's hard because he hasn't mentioned anything and he's not sweating he's like oh wow sounds yummy and he's like you know where are you guys eating at and she's probably gonna text him again and say we're actually eating at the sweet and spicy the place that we went alden is gonna talk to abigail and just say hey you did amazing today like i'm so proud of you you're really leading your team um he's gonna let's just compliment the outfit i guess you could say i didn't even realize it's like 6 50 in the evening sparkling apple juice for madison because she wants to feel like you know she's eat, drinking something special <laughs> <laughs> no. And honestly, it's kind of funny, but Lizbeth is definitely going to get the red nectar blend of wine. And Daniela is definitely side eyeing her as she orders because she's like, why do you need wine right now? You know, um, but at the same time, she's like, ah, well, it does go well with the meal. <laughs> Actually, no, it doesn't because it's not like it's like a pasta dish. This is like, why are you getting wine with quiche? You know, but th oh, this is like a breakfast kind of place. Is this breakfast all day? Mm, okay, well, veggie burger for Madison and then BLT for, I'm just like ordering what I think they would totally eat. Breakfast scramble for Alden, garden salad for Daniela, and I think we're gonna do a spinach and onion quiche. I did not know this was like a breakfast area, but here we are, we're gonna get our food and things are kind of like, you know, going well and we're just talking and it does feel a, a bit uh different i do want lisbeth to talk to alden's mom because as you all know uh she did forgive alden's mom in the last episode because she was meditating she was like why am i still why do we still have this kind of relationship when i'm no longer married to your son you know nothing is really wrong and we don't need to be like this with each other we can be cordial and look at what we're doing right now our girls are together our family's still together even though me and him aren't together and that is honestly healthy alden can't get enough of the stories madison tells oh yeah i definitely think he likes stories look she's telling him everything she misses her her dad so much and i love that because the relationship between them two obviously this is her father but she's also 
uh, increasing or gaining. Sorry, I'm sounding so technical because it is a video game, but she has a better relationship with her father. Look at this. It's all the way in the green now. It is a bit different now, whereas Alden was her number one in the beginning and her only, you know, the only man that she could count on. Now she actually does have her dad too. She has her real dad in her life as well. So it's kind of great. She has two dads and everything's working out. So we got our food in a timely manner. Thank you so much. Everything looks so good. <laughs> Let's discuss the food flavors. Like, mom, what the heck is that? I feel like Abigail would definitely be the type to be like, mom, what are you eating right now? <laughs> She's like, this is quiche. It's really good. I'm, I'll make it for you when we get home. And honestly, Danielle is happy. It is such a beautiful snowy day in Copperdale. How can we just go home after this, right? We're all looking at this thing and it's really cool. And the funny thing about this is that this was not the plan at all for the episode, not this portion. I'm just going with the flow here and I kind of love how they're all actually spending time together. And this is all because of the annual polar plunge. It's so golden. Uh, so Abigail's like, wow, neat whoever this guy is. Now I will say Lizbeth is ready to go home, but Abigail and Madison are actually having so much fun just spending time as a family, which this is never, we've never had a scene like this, have we? Where we've even had Daniela with us that she feels guilty if she goes, yeah, well, it's getting late, so let's go home. I mean, they're having a lot of fun right now, so why? Madison is currently making a snowball with Daniela. Abigail just couldn't help herself. She's over here making snow angels, swimming in the snow, and it feels so good. Alden actually followed Lizbeth up into this gazebo, and this gazebo is starting to feel like deja vu. A lot keeps happening on this gazebo. I mean, Gage literally told Lizbeth he had to go, you know, do a photo shoot or whatever he told her when he had to leave her the other day, and then also... This is where Alden and Lizbeth kind of found some peace with their situation. Lizbeth looks at Alden and she's like, this is really nice that we got everyone together and we did this. I mean, I never thought that we'd even have anything like this ever. And Alden's like, yeah, I agree. You know, my mom's actually all right. Yeah, that's kind of weird, actually. And Lizbeth is like, yeah, I kind of thought that she'd hate me forever. And he's like, nah, I always thought that she'd probably get over it eventually. Alden kind of slips up and says something that makes Lizbeth pause and think. And he's like, you know, I thought that my mom probably would hate you forever too. Just kidding, by the way. But uh, turns out, I don't think she feels like any woman is good enough for me. And Lisbeth is thinking to herself like, any woman? N no one's good enough for you? She's like, well, uh, what's up with Marie then? <laughs> what happened with that actually so we're gonna ask about another sim we are gonna ask about marie i don't really know what he's gonna say but she's not here and that is kind of weird uh, and how is everything you know she really was upset um i just kind of ignored her texts and i didn't really know what to say and he's like yeah um you know marriage problems you know simple as that i guess and honestly he's just gonna open up to lisbeth right here i wish there was an interaction for this but he's probably gonna tell her why she's not here so i'm just probably going to do a deep conversation again i'm actually gonna have him reveal deep secret too i forgot we could do that he's basically saying i was grieving really bad um and i'm still grieving you know that after my dad you know how much he means to me and, uh, you know, maybe I probably wasn't the best husband to Marie. And I know that she deserves more, but I just couldn't be there. And I had a really rough night with you. She found out that I went to go see you. And things have just been really rough ever since then. And Lizbeth is honestly like, wow, I, I'm so sorry. I mean, I definitely understand how she would feel. And he's like, yeah. And then she experienced some postpartum depression and oh my gosh out and stop doing romantic interactions stop please guys this is not happening please just exit it out of your mind this is definitely not happening Elizabeth pauses takes a deep breath and she's just thinking to herself like you know what i can totally understand why marie would feel that way and i'm glad you can acknowledge that because you know the postpartum is very real and she was probably dealing with a lot with your father but i also know how much your father means to you and i know that you were going through a hard time and i wish i could have been there for you more just because I I know you know I know your your childhood I know your life and I know how much you meant to you and honestly I was grieving too and it's on it and it's true because at some point Lisbeth wanted to even talk to Gino even when they weren't together so she loved him too and she's telling Alden you know I love him too and he's a great guy and he's still around you know I feel him even when I when I eat meatballs <laughs> you know like I don't know like he's still around he's still here Alden doesn't know what to say he 
his eyes are kind of watering and he shakes it off. Those words mean so much to him, knowing that his dad is around, you know, hearing something positive, you know, not just faking it anymore. And also not just like, are you okay? Are you okay? Do you need anything? And it felt good to hear that from Lizbeth. He's not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It felt good to hear that from Lizbeth. And he's like, thanks, Liz. I really appreciate that. God, it's getting late. So right now I want Alden to kind of tell Lizbeth something. I want him to, uh, I guess I'll just do the gossip interaction. He's really telling her uh, right now she left. And Lizbeth is like, what? She left? Look at her face. She's like, she left? What? Well, just temporarily, she has family in San Myshuno. Um, in the Spice District and she reached out to them. I guess she was feeling very lonely and like I couldn't help. And so she took Anthony and they're staying there for a little bit. Lizbeth is so shocked. She's like, oh my goodness. She's like, I cannot believe that. You know, maybe it's for the best. Everything will work out. She'll come back. And he's like, yeah, you know, she's just getting space. And it does sound like a familiar situation. You guys remember when, you know, she needed some space from him. But because he told her this information, she's going to reveal a secret with him too. And she's going to be like, listen, um, we probably shouldn't be talking about this. And I don't want to talk your head off. But Abigail is friends with Cyrus. Cyrus is my boyfriend Gage's son. And they saw this girl that I guess is his ex and there was a paparazzi photo and I don't know what to make of it. She's explaining that situation to him. You all know what happened, long story short. And now Alden has that face that Lizbeth had like, are you kidding me? So he had this girl's photo above his dresser as well. And she's like, yes, this is the same girl. I'm sure of it. That was a, a photo that we kind of argued about that was on his dresser. And Alden's like, wow, that's kind of tough. You don't have any other option but to ask him about it, huh? It's not like you to sit on some information like this. You'd confront it head first. And she's like, yeah, you know what? I probably will. And he's like, well, that guy's stupid. I love it because she's like, yeah, you know, he is stupid, but it also reminded me of the stupid thing that I did to you. What she's gonna do is do a smooth apology and go, I'm really sorry again, just about everything that I put you through. I know I've apologized before, but feeling like this is just so uneasy and I just can't even imagine I ruined our marriage. Alden looks down at his feet and he looks back up in Lisbeth's dark brown eyes and he just thinks to himself, it's okay. Like it is okay and we're okay and it was a learning experience. And for the first time, I feel like Alden takes accountability. He's actually going to apologize to her also. He's having epiphanies ever since his dad passed away. He's starting to see in the clear and he's also gonna say, it's okay. Um, you weren't the only one at fault here. So he's gonna apologize. I think Alden's gonna admit, you know, I know that I, I wasn't, uh, according to your book, the most fun guy, I guess, to be around, um, but. I really appreciate your honesty and how easy you've made it to parent our kids together. And I'm happy you're happy. I really am. And I'm sorry too. Ooh, it's really getting late here. It really is. And it's so funny because everyone's having so much fun. They're throwing snowballs. They are completely distracted from the fact that Alden and Lizbeth are over here spilling their hearts out right now, but it is definitely time to go. Today was a really long day. I will say that Alden has been still having, you know, a couple of drinks on the side. It hasn't turned into anything big or big problem. He's not <laughs> down the rabbit hole per se, but he's definitely chilling, kicking back with you know, a couple cans of beers and he's probably just gonna go ahead and put the rest away here. He can't believe that today actually went well, you know. Um, this is the part of the night where things do feel a little lonely. It is fresh and it is true that Marie did pick up and leave with Anthony. Not necessarily abruptly, but she did say, you know, this is for me, we just need some space. And to be honest with you all, this is actually very triggering for, for Alden because this is exactly what happened with his first divorce where his wife had to leave and needed her space. But he misses his son and um, he's really thinking like, what am I doing? Should I just give her space? Just like how I gave Lizbeth space. But when he gave Lizbeth that space, nothing was the same after that. He is starting to feel a little sad now um, only because you know it's the end of the day all the happiness and all of that is kind of you know worn off so he is kind of feeling a little a little down about that I actually think he's gonna come relax here and he's just like wow you know sleeping in an empty bed <laughs> and he's actually gonna have some self-indulgence right now because you know, his wife is not here and Alden is just he's in a new phase of his life and this is the best 
the best way that I can describe kind of what he's going, turning into. He's becoming human in my eyes. And I want to show that. Yeah, he's, um, you know, just kind of chilling you know so he's gonna come in here and wash his hands he knows it's like six in the morning now he's been on and off asleep and it's just been a little you know a little wonky to me alden just feels unhinged because you know the thing with lizbeth going on where he literally just kept flirting with her autonomously i mean i do not want their romance bar to be that high it's it's not right and then he also wants to have a child his 45th birthday is coming up dude is going to be 45, why do you want a kid right now? Maybe he just wants to to see his son, you know? And so this isn't gonna keep up for too long because Alden's not the type of dad to be absent. And you know that because he always would get the girls and all that. I think he's actually gonna go to sleep because he's been, you know, again, restless, on and off sleeping. He had a couple beers that'll knock him back. Daniela is definitely going to wake up. And oh my gosh, look at this beautiful day in Brindleton Bay. Oh, it's so <laughs> beautiful here. It's such a different vibe than San Sequoia. Daniela is going to go into Anthony's room. Now, we didn't have the luxury of seeing how Marie left, but Daniela is is livid. This is her grandson, okay? She absolutely loves him. She loves all of her grandchildren. If it has the Proctor blood in it, then she owns it, you know? And she is a bit upset. She is going to call Marie um, and she's going to say, hey, so how's everything? When do you plan on coming back? She's like, Daniela, it has only been two days. Um, listen, I will let Alda know when I'm coming back. It shouldn't be long. This is her son now. Don't stay away for too long because you'll get on her bad side. Ooh, work starts for Alden in an hour. That means he needs to go. I think she's actually going to come in and wake him up because hello, what are you doing? You have work. And I think Danielle is definitely going to tell him like, you need to get your stuff together. She doesn't like this situation. She's like, hey, wake up. Don't you have work? He's like, oh, 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 oh thanks. Thanks, mom. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I have work. Give life lesson on love. Let's, let's give a life lesson on love love first she's going to basically tell him like you know alden i mean your dad lasted for so many years because we stick together daniela doesn't get it daniela doesn't understand leaving to get space she's like uh, -uh she should be here you guys should be working it out if you're gonna work out another divorce under your belt is that what you want son and he's just like mom listen she's been going through a lot i know she's like everyone goes through things but you just lost your father and he's like i know mom and she's like that's not right i don't like it anthony is a baby he needs to be around his father he's like mom you know she hasn't really been around her family and they could really probably support her daniela is just like well you have family and he's like All right, well, mom I, I gotta go to work now so he's actually gonna head out now he's feeling super low gosh he barely got any sleep on wednesdays daniela does have a little bit of a bible study alden's parents are quite religious and again these are just me fleshing out my characters but she's gonna go ahead and head on to the church let's have her go with arnesta maybe she's in town she was actually from tartosa as well but that is why they wanted alden to be married in some type of church or whatever he has a lot of pressure from his family just based off of how he was raised all right daniela is back try not to fall girl it's slippery out here and as you can see it's this church whether we believe or not it does not matter what matters is the love we have for our loved ones our neighbors and everyone else in this world and that message really Really, really resonated with her and she wouldn't feel right if she didn't actually live that truth she's actually gonna come in the kitchen make some italian meatballs and i think that she may fix some ties here because that's what gino would want that's what the sim gods i guess would want <laughs> I definitely can't see Daniela inviting Lizbeth over just yet, but I can see her calling her, which I'm going to have her do, and uh, just saying, hey, you know, it's me. I, um, you know, I, I, <laughs> she's, it's going to be hard for her to find the words just like I did, but she's making Italian meatballs, and that's her favorite to make for the family right now. Cooking always gets her in a good spirit anyway. Hey, so. Liz. Yeah, it's me. I just want to say... Uh, yesterday was really fun. Um, your hair looked nice. <laughs> and she's just gonna, you know, have a small talk. You know, I really appreciate having dinner, uh, you know, talking over dinner with you last night. And, uh, I just want to let you know that I think you've raised beautiful girls with my son. And I appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Danielle. I appreciate it. Yeah. 
Oh, what are you doing today? Oh, I just made some Italian meatballs for, you know, for my son. You know, it's his favorite. Like, oh, yeah, well, I'll let you go. I just, I, you know, I just want to say that to you really quick. <laughs> I think this is a good finishing point. I actually had more. I wanted to do this episode, but I really, really wanted to capitalize on uh, where we are right now. Well, that wraps it up here. I really appreciate you all watching. And don't forget that if you do plan on purchasing any Sims 4 DLC packs from thesims.com or the EA app, it would help me out a lot. If you use my creator code Ocean Sims at checkout, I actually receive a percent of that purchase. And that really helps me out. It helps my channel grow. And it also just shows your support. And I really appreciate that. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I'll see you in the next video. Post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in.